Buddy, good to see you. Hi. Good to see you. As usual, Adam will start. We'll go around in our normal order, and then if anyone else has got any questions, um, please just let me know at the end. Thanks, Daniel. Yes. Daniel, uh, a draw. How do you feel? A strong point away from home, or do you feel like it, it got away from you a little bit in terms of a victory? Yes, but uh, definitely a good point on the road. I think um, overall it was really an advertisement for the for the championship. I think a really good, uh, really good game for two inform uh, sides. Um, tight game, and and obviously in this uh, tight games, decisive moments are always uh, always crucial. Um, Yes, Norwich is a good good side. They have an unbeaten record here at home during during the season. Last game, big win against Watford. Um, back to back wins um, at the moment. Also, an informed team. So you could feel it that two informed teams were today uh, on the pitch and a really tight, competitive uh, first half. Um, Yes, we allowed to have one mistake in our defending. Our defending in the last six games was was excellent and nearly perfect today. In this one situation, we allowed uh, them, the winger, to cut inside. We're not strong in the duel, and then obviously also the wrong uh, decision to tackle in the uh, in the box. And uh, for that, um, the referee gave uh, gave them the penalty. And of course, it's difficult. Yeah, once you hear one nil down, the whole stadium is, is buzzing, and they play with euphorism and with confidence and can concentrate on uh, on defending. It's not easy. I think even the first half, with so many good winnings of the boards, were just a bit untidy in using this. We had three, four times overload situation when the last pass was not was not tidy. Although we had chances, like the I think it was Willy Glonto who hit the post in the first half. I think it was just a bit unlucky that we were. Back at uh, at, at half time, and I encourage them, um, yeah, to keep going. Yeah, for us, it's also not the the easiest time. We have to deal with a few injuries already. Then during the game, also another important player for us, Ilya Gruev, uh, out out of the game. We played more or less with a complete new centre uh, in the heart of the of the game today, and I have to give many many compliments uh, to to my lads, especially for the players. Uh, for RO, it's first game in English football in the starting lineup. For Joe Roswell, the first game in the starting lineup since ages, and then again such a good, good uh, Norwich side. Um, I think we were excellent in the in the second half. Hold the pressure high, fully deserved, well taken equaliser. I think then we had the edge also to 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 win the game because the situation like with Jade Bogle, great chance. Brent Aronson, a great chance. I think it was also a penalty against Willy Nonto. So. Overall, I think we were pretty, pretty close to claim all three points. But Norwich is a really good side with informed players like like Sainz, like like Sargent. They are always dangerous on the counter attack. And uh, in the in the end, it was a pretty open game. It was a bit like a basketball game in, in two directions. Uh, both both could have claimed perhaps all three points. I think we were a bit closer, but nevertheless, I think both teams can live with this one point. And for us, under these circumstances. It's definitely also a good point on the road, yes. Danny, you know, you got yourself into like really strong positions and the two best players were Ramazani and, and Nonto it appeared on the pitch. You decided to take them off. What was the thinking behind that? Yes, it was a difficult decision. We have right now three games within, uh, within six days, and we have especially um, our, our offensive players, our, our wingers like Largi, his first steps also in English uh, senior football. So actually, the plan was to leave him just 60 minutes on the pitch, but after he equalised, I wanted also to use his euphorism a little bit and and try to leave him uh, even a bit longer on the uh, on the pitch. So for 70 minutes and also Willy Nyonto, you could feel then from minute 75 on. The way backwards was a bit difficult. Fischer was then involved also in several good attacks and um, also wanted to set a bit the sign. No, no. So uh, at this moment we need we need all the players who are available and and for that it was also good to give Patrick the first minutes after long term injuries because we definitely need him uh, desperately need him during uh, during the season and and wanted also to bring Joel Pirot in. Um, it's more like yes, momentum has scored back-to-back -back goals. So um, for that, um, also have to keep in mind, okay, that we don't do anything stupid in the workload against the ball is unless and we lose such a game, and we have also a quick turnaround and the next game already on Friday. So um, so for that, it was was also important. If I'm honest, I left a bit the players even longer on the pitch than I actually have planned to. And uh, but uh, thank God, it still paid off with a good point. Ilya Gruev, what's the diagnosis there, and are you feeling that he won't be involved on Friday night? Yes, at least it was not good enough in order to keep going. Knee injury um, had problems to to turn. Um, obviously, I hope it's not too bad. We are struggling with a few already in this uh, in this area. 
we have to wait for the assessment. Uh, so tomorrow there will be will be a scan, and perhaps I can tell you already tomorrow a bit bit more. Um, at the moment, it doesn't look that great um, because, especially because we're dealing or, or handling already a few injuries. Well, it's like it is, and uh, for that I'm I'm pretty happy that also Ao and, and Joe Roswell stepped up. But you could feel in the second half, um, in terms of positioning, it was their first game more or less. I think we were sometimes even a bit bit open in, in order to control their counter-attacks and that's what the reason we had a bit more uh, transition moments like like in the basketball game. Uh, but no criticism, so I'm, I'm happy that they delivered, especially also RO, such a strong performance uh, in their in their more or less their first proper proper league game. And uh, for that, I think we'll also learn in this position a bit out of uh, out of this game, and we have to improve our positioning a bit. But this happens when you have to replace more or less the whole heart of uh, of your game, who was used to what you want to do. So, uh, for that, no criticism, more just compliments uh, to these lads that they, under this difficult circumstances, stepped up and and won for us a really good point here uh, at Carroll Road. Thank you. Great. Why was the plan to take Largy off on 60 minutes? Is it simply where he is in his fitness journey? Is it with Friday night in mind? Yes, all of uh, all of this because it was more or less his, his third start already, and especially when it's once it's such an intense game, he's still a bit bit uh, struggling. So in terms of in terms of uh, workload, you will uh, find at the moment. Not many wingers who deliver less uh, dis distance in the in, in the whole league, and this I don't mean this as criticism. It's more like where his physical point of uh, point is. And we have to work a bit on it, and uh, also we have already uh, wingers in this position who are who are out, and we can't afford another another injury in this uh, in this topics. And uh, for that, um, this was a plan, especially against Norwich City side. If you have a look on the statistics, they deliver always the games with the most covered distance and the most distant uh, intensity in the whole league. And for that you need then also wingers who help in order to, to, to work back. Uh, but we wanted to use his creativity and, and also his momentum uh, today to leave him as long as possible on the pitch. So I'm happy that he came through for 70 minutes. And yes, another point is also that we need uh, his quality and, and also hopefully his goal scoring again in difficult away game on, uh, on Friday. So three games within six days. Yeah, it's sometimes difficult. Also, another away game. Um, so for that, I hope he's ready to go and to start again. It felt like Willie um, had a particularly good game tonight. So I imagine it was difficult to take him off. How key is he for you at the minute? Yes, important. He has proved this with many end products in the in the last game. Also today, he was uh, was uh, involved in many many good scenes. Also with a goal, and and I think we deserve to 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 get a penalty in this situation. It feels just a little bit. The referees make their life a bit, bit too easy, and each of every decision is against uh, Willy Gnonto. Um, this lad doesn't deserve it uh, because uh, he is adapted to English football right now, and he's there with proper proper physicality. And um, yeah, but it's like it is today. We have to live with it, and it's it's key that we um, yeah keep our our uh, our players up front, also injury free. But uh, if you have to play three games within six days, yeah, then Matteo Joseph, Willy Gnonto, uh, Naji Ramazani, they can't play each and every game 90 minutes. Uh, Brandon Aronson is in a really good physical shape. He uh, does this even more. What he covers at the moment, also what he works defensively, is unbelievable. Credit credit to him. I hope to have him also available for the for the next game, also in the starting lineup perhaps. Um, so. Um, yes, well done to all my offensive players, but uh, to play three games within six days is at the moment not possible. Thank you. Aaron? Three days after Ethan is out for 10 weeks, you couldn't have handpicked a worse player to get injured in earlier. What's going through your head when, when, when that happens? Yes, you know, football is sometimes like life. Uh, when you think, okay, right now there is really like the uh, 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 the deepest point, the, the worst thing that could happen, and right now it just goes up uh, forward, there's another sucker punch. Uh, Football is also the same, so I agree. So couldn't be a worse player uh, to be out because Ilya is one of the players who can play three games within 90 minutes, who is probably our most consistent player together with uh, with Eason. And then you have to replace more or less the whole heart of the game um, uh, completely. But um, even in this circumstances, you have to show unity and togetherness and spirit. And I'm glad that my lads showed this today and stick together and, and turned the game nearly in such a difficult uh, difficult place and or at least won a pretty, pretty crucial, important point. Um, I'm really happy with this. We know midweek away games can be really, really tough in this league. I think about Stoke away last season. Oh. It can be some of the worst nights of the season when, it, when it's at its worst. But the adversity that they had to go through with the penalty, 
and Ilya's injury, were you impressed with the way they came together after that and, and with a better team eventually? Not surprised, but impressed, yeah, because I know I've got brilliant characters in my, my team, but I was also thinking oh, another sucker punch and right now we are back. Hopefully we can keep the nerves because we had again so many young players on the pitch and so many players, Matteo, Laji, first season more or less like in English football, Brennan after a difficult loan spell anyhow, so what he's delivering at the moment is uh, is great and, and for that many, many compliments. So, you know, we're just completely happy when we win all three points but how we reacted today in such such a difficult place in the inform Norwich right I'm, I'm pretty happy with this point and, and especially that we uh, came back after after being in losing position under this difficult circumstances so for that really really happy what the boys deliver today thank you um, yeah, just one from me very yes. warm reaction again from the home fans at the final so they don't forget what you did here is it nice still to come back Yes, for me, if I'm honest, it's, uh, it's always uh, pretty emotional to to come back because this club and this people here will always have a yeah special spot also in my my heart. It's sometimes also difficult um, to yeah turn the emotions uh, a bit a bit away. I will always be forever grateful also to to this club and the city how warm they welcomed me as a pretty young unknown coach from. German football, the first uh, coach from abroad, and and yeah, we were able to create memories and something really special also for this club. So great memories, met many great great people, and it was a great time. I will for always uh, be be grateful for this, and for me it's always also emotional to uh, to come back. And uh, yeah, and which is on a good pass uh, also during the season, really strong side. And uh, when we don't play against them, then always my fingers are crossed, crossed for them. Um, I'm happy that I'm still unbeaten here, so it was not easy in the last games. Um, good outcome so far, and, and yeah, that, that's a nice reception. Um, yeah, I'm also a bit, bit proud of it, I have to say. Good. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you very much.